Welcome to my review of the Cetus X FPV drone by Beta FPV. As you can see, this is the one. I'll explain what this piece of wood is in a second. That is the only downside of this drone, but there's an easy fix. And it runs on, as you probably know, it's a 2S drone. So you need two 450 milliamp hour batteries like these. It comes with four, but I would recommend you buy spares. And they basically just plug in one, two, and then you connect them both up here using the BH connector, like that. Okay, flashing lights, all that stuff. Okay, so I'll start with the things I don't like and then I'll get into the things I do like. So the first thing I don't like is that when, you, when you've been flying this and it's heated up a bit, these connectors are actually quite hard to remove. I have to, especially the bottom one, I have to sometimes use my shirt to kind of get a better grip and then wrench it out like that. So that's the first thing I don't like, and um, I don't know if that's a problem with the BH connection or this drone in particular, but it's just quite difficult. The second thing I don't like is that to connect this to beta flight, you have to pull out this little, see this little cable here? That's kind of wedged in there, and you have to kind of pull that out and then attach this to a little USB device. Maybe I can show you. So you have to pull out this device and attach it to this which is the USB-C connection. I'll just do it for you now so you can see it's quite fiddly. I don't know if it's because I have massive hands, but so you have to just get that in there and then I have to use my fingernail to kind of put it in. Okay, so now it's in and you can connect it through USB-C to beta flight. Third thing I don't like, and this is the last thing I don't like, so everything else is gonna be good. The third thing I don't like is that because the camera angle here is adjustable, every time you crash, which will be a lot, it bumps this up or down. So, so, so let's say let's say if you're flying indoors, which you probably might be, and you crash and you go upside down, now your camera angle is like 50 degrees and you're staring at the ceiling and you literally can't do anything about it. You have to go manually get the drone and change the camera angle again. The only solution I found to this, because I tried tightening these screws, it doesn't do it. When you crash, it's gonna bump it. The only solution I found was to get a small piece of wood and then attach using blue tack uh, at the correct angle, so that when it crashes, it physically can't go down. Uh, not ideal, but I am fine with that because I do like being able to change the camera angle quite easily. And it doesn't add that much weight, and because this is such a powerful drone anyway, it it basically doesn't make any difference to the flight whatsoever, having the piece of wood there. So yeah, that's the three things that I do not like about this. Now we will talk about the good things, because there's a lot of good things. So, firstly, it's an ELRS drone. Long range, good penetration. It flies pretty much everywhere you want, all around the house, around your yard, around your garden, whatever. Uh, it's a quad blade prop drone, although you can obviously change that. I would not recommend changing that because it's a bit heavier than, let's say, a Mobula 6 or a Tiny Whoop style. Uh, so because you have that extra weight, you do need a, a bit more thrust. So I would recommend just sticking with the four blade props. <coughs> But if you're going to change them, you can maybe go down to tri-blades, but definitely I would not recommend going down to bi-blades because especially for turtle mode to still work where it flips itself over, you're going to probably need the thrust of at least a tri-blade prop. For complete beginners, I would highly, highly recommend this, but it takes a bit of tuning and practice. And what I would say is that you need to learn how to connect it to something called beta flight, which is where you can tune up all the settings of it. And for indoor flying, what you want to do is set the the maximum throttle percentage, like how fast it can go up and down, to about 70% instead of 100, which is what it comes with. And then also the angle limit, if you imagine it's flying straight like that, the angle limit is how fast forward or sideways or backwards it goes, right? So I would change the angle limit to about 22, which means it can only tilt forward about that much uh, or backwards or sideways. And what that means is that you, it's basically a speed limit it means the drone cannot go faster than that forwards, which means you, you limit the speed and it's much, much easier to control indoors. Without that, you won't be able to fly it indoors. It's simply too fast and powerful. Uh, yeah, so I've tried, I wouldn't say I'm a bad pilot. I'd say I'm a, a fairly good, uh, certainly better than average, not, not an expert by any means, but um, I simply couldn't control it indoors when it was with, you know, without the angle limit because I would go forward and it would go forward like 50 degrees like that and just, you know, catapult itself across the room. 
especially if the camera angle is still set at like 45 degrees, you can't see where you're going. It just, you know, it's incredibly fast. And without the throttle limit, one touch of the throttle and you're just gonna smash into the ceiling pretty much. So you've been warned, okay? That being said, now that I've tuned it up and changed those settings, this is literally my favorite outdoor drone and my second favorite indoor drone that I've ever used. So, and I've flown a lot of them. I'm not gonna show you them all in this video, but I've flown a lot of them. Um, this is my favorite for indoors. This is a Mobula 6, okay? Uh, but this one, the benefit is you can get this in a, an all-in-one kit where it comes with everything you need. So controller, transmitter, drone, uh, and the goggles, as well as the carrying case. Highly, highly recommend this drone. I really love it. I have, I have to say when I first got this, I did not like it because I didn't fully understand that I could change the settings and you know change the angle limits and the throttle limit and stuff. But yeah, this is, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Strongly recommended. Uh, check the link in my description if you want to get this. This is the, C the Beta FPV Cetus X FPV drone. And this is the ELRS version. Strongly recommended. Link is in the description.